I'm not sure I've done a good job explaining what it is like cycling up the hills of Cebu. So I made this whole video to talk about what it is like. Today we are going to be doing a lot, a lot of climbing. is that the best cycling in Cebu is up really steep hills and if you don't like cycling up hills cycling in Cebu might not be for you but if you manage to do it there are some rewards the first reward is you get the satisfaction of knowing that you are able to make it up the hill the second reward is of course you get the views and the third reward, which a lot of you might like, it's the downhill. But to be able to cycle up these hills, you might need a few things. First of all, you'll need brakes for those downhills. And then second, you'll need pretty good gearing from your bike. Preferably smaller gears in the front and bigger gears in the back. That will make those steep gradients much easier. Third and most important, you are going to need to be able to ignore the suffering and keep the resolve of going up a steep climb. Hey, right, we're climbing the Jesus Reins climb. So this should be difficult. Fortunately, there is a good coffee stop in the middle of the climb. Coffee time! Yeah! Speaking of coffee, this video is sponsored by Curve Coffee Collaborators. They are one of the most trusted coffee roasters in the Philippines. I talked to Angel, the Cebu roaster, for a little insight into the roasting process. You're not burning the beans, you're like warming it up. Um, actually, it's like uh, playing around with um, how much heat you want to put inside of a roaster. Mm. That's where you bring out the, the best flavors you can possibly get out of the coffee. Roasting is a very important part of the coffee making process and Curve happens to be one of the best roasters in the Philippines. So head over to Curve.coffee to order your bag of beans. Thank you Curve for sponsoring this vlog. Hey, we're climbing again. 
This is the second part of that crazy climb. Here's a quick look at that specific segment. It's called the Jesus Rains Climb. 6.51 kilometers, 492 meters of elevation gain, and an average gradient of 7.6%. But it is a little bit deceiving because there are significant sections where the gradients are in the teens and even up to 21%. That's pretty steep. Current elevation gain, 1,015 meters. We still have quite a bit of climbing to go. And we've only done 29 kilometers. <laughs> When you see someone on a mountain bike standing up while they're climbing, you know it's steep. My favorite way to cycle up a climb is to do it with a partner, have a friend to talk to, go chica pace. But when the gradients are really steep, it is a lot easier to just go at your own pace. And many times, this means going up a hill solo. And the Cebu weather does not help very much. It can get really hot and although there are a lot of climbs with tree cover, there are also many climbs that are exposed to the sun. And with the slow speeds of the really steep gradients, you do not get the respite of wind. So your body can heat up significantly. Nice, right? Yeah, that, that area there. My name is... <laughs> My name is Alright, see you bye. Bye bye. So this is the last uh, well one of the last major climbs. Hey, buko buko sa anay, buko buko sa anay. The action cameras that I use do not do a good job of showing you how steep it is. Top of the last climb! Woo! on the vlog it's so satisfying to be able to climb up mountains on the bike you might be curious about the ride 64.65 kilometers 4 hours 17 minutes and 10 seconds moving time with 1776 meters of elevation gain and a lot of that was really, really, really steep climbs. <sighs> Feels good though. I mean, you, you couldn't see in the video, but I was standing up while biking. It was pretty hard, but feels good. All right. <sighs> no boring days. Please subscribe. Bye. <laughs>